This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today is a special video. Uh, we're going to be going through uh, random perfume samples, literally. And I don't know this is a Christian Dior Maison Dior bag, but inside I have a bunch of random samples of many perfumes. Okay, Yop is like taking the forefront, but there's a lot of them. And uh, we're gonna go through them together. This video is filmed in front of a virtual live audience. So uh, my audience members in the chat are going to uh, discuss with me these fragrances. Most of them I've never tried before. So it's just gonna be random. I'm gonna take them out of the bag. Then we're gonna smell them together, get maybe into the notes a little bit and see what we think about it. Uh, I have prepared like tissue paper. I know it's not the best for smelling fragrances, but uh, tissues. So what are you gonna do? We're in lockdown, so we're gonna work with what we got, and we got tissues. So, before I get to testing out all these uh, perfumes together with you, I would like to remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and are already a viewer of mine. Uh, subscribe to my channel and push the notifications button to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Also, uh, I would like to thank my members and my patrons. You can also become a member of my channel by pushing the join button, which is next to the subscription button. You get extra perks by being a member. You also get extra perks by becoming a patron. Super Decob all spelled together on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Let's get to it. So for my chat people in the chat and also for my viewers there, maybe you know some of these perfumes. Let's just go, I'm just gonna go in and pull out something randomly. Oh God, okay. <laughs> Oh, so I'm already hating this. <laughs> you guys, this is the first time we're going to try. Dolce Gabbana, I guess this is King Diodo Toilette. And we got tissues, says Gurcharan. Yes, we do. Dolce Gabbana, I guess it's King. Oh Lord, not that one, says Emilio. Yes. <sighs> Who's making this one? Is it the Shiseido guys? Prestige? Yeah, it's Prestige International. This one should be made in France, but who knows? It doesn't say. But what does it say on the text? It says, uh, this uh, masculine fragrance is a, vibration, is a vibrant fusion of Italian citruses embraced by burning aromatic notes, luxuriously deepening into noble cedar wood, unforgettable for the senses. Woody aromatic. Maybe on the little vial it's going to say where it's made. Made in France. One milliliter. Okay, tissue paper. One milliliter, it's literally half a milliliter. I never use this, look, it's half empty. It's right up to there. Like, cha, look at that. Look at those stingy Dolce Gabbana people. What the? Okay, whatever. It's not like we need more. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's spritz it. Mmm. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. You know what? Tissues are really good for this. Um, because they lighten up the, the fragrance and they kind of allow you to go and it, it, it makes it less harsh in the opening notes. Let me just put it that way. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to here in front of me, I'm going to lay them flat so that um, I'm going to put the tissue next to the perfume so I can go back to it later and I can. I didn't write on the tissue what perfume it is, but I'm going to place the tissue next to the sample so I, I can immediately reference it. Okay, so first and foremost, has anybody tried it out in the, in the chats? Does anybody know the king? Okay, Dondism says, I loved D&G K Eau de Toilette. Bottle design is hideous, says Emilio. Just another Roger says, LOL. Dondism says, better 
than the Eau de Parfum for sure. It's, it leans in the fougère. Yeah, I see the fougère happening. Okay, can we scroll down a little bit? Um, Melly says, oh, I just got that sample. Ooh, horrible. <laughs> Melly says, oh, Lord, not that one. I tried a swab of it, says Debbie. Not memorable. Time to Musk Up says, oh, God, garbage. Gurcharan says, pretty generic, obviously. Uh... Eileen says, Melly says, what? Unforgettable. Oh, Kurchan says, unforgettable. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oof. Amelia says, not half sample your expression. Yeah, my expression is like, uh, better off half a sample, lol. This is so much fun, huh? Your face said it all. Yes, horrible, says Melly. Damien says, yes, very synthetic, avoid. Time to musk up. I have it. It's citrus ozone woody realm boring. Just another Roger says, Melly, haha, oh my god. Melly says, Roger, ha ha ha. Another just another says, I'm just watching all the reactions, so entertaining. Melly says, I threw it out. Okay, you guys. Let me tell you something, though. Don't shoot me, you guys. I'm not hating this now. <laughs> On the tissue, I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. It's aggressive. It's synthetic. But it's, uh, maybe because it's on the tissue, it's a little bit softer. Of course, you would have to try it on the skin and yada, yada, you know. But this is just like first impressions, just a little having fun with a little sample, whatever, you know. And Melly says, oh, no, Jacob, really? Let's move on, says Gurcharan. I'm not hating it. Let's put it to the side and then we can get back to it later, perhaps, you know. See how it develops on the tissue. I'm Louis says, would you buy it? <sighs> For now, no, not yet, not yet. Melly says, put it on your skin. Yeah, well, wait, you know, let's get through a couple of these first and then maybe the one I like the most on the tissue I can put on my skin because I don't have enough skin to put them all on, you know what I mean? So let's get through the selection first. Okay, look, this is the next one I pulled out. Cartier Déclaration. Come on, focus. Focus, camera. Eau de toilette, Cartier Déclaration. The Eau de toilette. There you have it. What the hell? This one is also like half missing. Um, oh well. Uh, one and a half milliliter, made in France. So what do we say about Déclaration? Ah, okay, this is a bit loose. It evaporated. Ciao. Okay. Um, okay, Debbie says, I have it, have not tried it. Well, now is, the, now is your chance. Um, Gurchan says, it's not bad, but just entirely forgettable. Time to mask up. It doesn't smell bad. It's just a mall scent. Ooh, the shade. I had that one. I love it, says I'm Louis. Um... Emilio says, uh, Declaration is incredible. Lots of cardamom. Melly says, hmm, haven't tried this one. Uh, MK says, this one is an old one. Gurcharan says, I still want to try that one. Time to musk up. That's a good one. MK says, it is a male perfume, clean and simple. Don't be some, wait till Jacob gets a <laughs> Bleu de Chanel sample. Time to musk up. They probably evaporated. Time to musk up says, a little like Terre d'Hermes. Okay, you guys, let's spritz. Declaration. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, this is not, you know, it doesn't bite. It doesn't bite at the opening. Oh, wow. Since, you know, hair washing, preparing for every live stream, this one I had other stuff to do with my hair. So, but I usually use a lot of hairspray. At, uh, the, the famous L'Oreal hairspray with, for the wigs, you know. It has a hint of that type of vibe, which I love. It's like very dressing room smell. I love that. D makeup room, not sweaty dressing room, but... 
it's smoky a little bit a little musty it's not bad you guys what's your opinions oh hi isaac hi how are you doing declaration too sweet in my skin on, on my skin but well, this is the thing, I haven't tried it on my skin. I'm just doing it on tissue papers because I don't have enough skin to try it on yet, but we're going to see. So what, what are your opinions? <clears throat> uh, Debbie says, this squirrel would not know where to find any particular sample at the moment. <laughs> You've been putting your little nuts all over the place. Time to musk up. I was talking about K uh, by DNG, and uh, it's a mall scent. Declaration is great. Ah, okay, yes. The King or K, it does smell like a mall scent. Uh, yeah, this the Cartier Declaration is not bad, you guys, on paper. Um, it's also slightly leathery, smoky, like dusty. I'm so excited because I never tried any of the perfumes you always have to try, says I'm Louis. <laughs> Melissa says, don't know about this one, but I love Cartier fragrances. Ah, yes, Melly says, Elnet, yes. Oh my God, I love Elnet. Time to mask up. A little cumin can turn a scent from a 9 to a 10 in my eyes. Emilia says, I love La Panthère Extrait by Cartier. Gaucheron says, I, for some reason, thought uh, it would have been somewhat like Aura. Clearly it's not. Oh no, Gurcharan, nothing like Aura. By Thierry Mugler, nothing. You know, if, if, if at all, it has slight hints, well, uh, slight hints, but nevertheless slight hints of Queer d'Ange by Hermès, by the Hermessence range. It has a bit of that ethereal queer donge type of light leather suede. This one is not bad, you guys. It doesn't smell as sophisticated as queer donge, but it does smell more wearable than queer donge. Is it spicy? No, it's not spicy to me. Uh, Isaac, I mean sweaty body smell, the cardamom. Well, the cardamom either, yeah, it can either combine well or not well with the skin type and then it's oh you know what oh my god mm. there's something in the smell that has the same note as one part of the mid to dry down notes of number 19 the eau de parfum it has that green nuance of uh what would that be the labdanum somehow no, uh, the galbanum, sorry, the galbanum. Not bad, Declaration. So last comments before we move on. Melly says, wow, that's because Jean-Claude Elena made a deco. Really, Emilio? Jean-Claude Elena made Declaration? Well, Jean-Claude Elena also made Queer Dange. They're very similar. There you go. My nose recognized it. Um, now on my fingers, I have, because I sprayed it in this direction, I have like the Dolce Gabbana mixed with Declaration. Not that. Okay. Anyway. Oh, must find then, says Debbie. Melly says, I love a bitter orange. Time to mask up, says bitter orange, cardamom, vetiver, black pepper, and leather. You guys, Emilio, thank you for the information. Uh, by the way, this is a perfume video. Check out Emilio's channel. I'm going to put Emilio's link to his YouTube channel. Emilio, a uh, wonderful perfume reviewer in the description box under my video. Here's a shout out to you, girl. I love Emilio and I love his channel and the way he reviews perfumes. So thank you, Emilio. Emilio is live in the chat now with us. Uh, thank you, Emilio, for letting us know that Jean-Claude Elena made this one. Yeah, it's, it's similar. It's, it has hints of uh, queer d'ange. There you have it. Okay, you guys, moving on to the next one. This is exciting. I'm loving this portion. Maybe we're going to make this a... If, if this goes well, maybe we're going to make it a thing, you know, do it more often. Okay. I'm just going to, like, go for something. There might be some doubles. Oh, my God, you guys. Really? Do we have to ruin everything? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do I have to? Oh. You guys, 
You guys, pure excess by Paco Rabanne. Oh no. <laughs> this is torture. Well, okay. Oh. Ilang Ilang Charnel sur Vanille Brulant. Popcorn explore. Oh my god. Ilang Ilang and popcorn. Lux okay, luxuriant Ilang Ilang on hot vanilla with a popcorn burst, a provocative floral. Crickets? Can somebody cue in crickets? Cha, I don't know what's tack here, the bottle or the description. Although I do love my popcorn. I love popcorn, not necessarily in a perfume. I like to eat it. And Puige, Puige France is the manufacturer. This one is made in France. Cha, ilang ilang and popcorn. Don't get it on your skin, Emilio says. This one doesn't want to leave the skin. Oh my God, you guys. Caleb says, popcorn laughing. Debbie says, <laughs> Debbie just pulled a Mariah Carey and, ex and Pure Excess. Don't know her. Uh, Melly says, yuck. Uh, Emilio says, caramel popcorn. It's hella strong. Gurchanan says, don't know the controversy behind that one. Time to Musk Up says, next, LOL. <laughs> Melly says, Groundbreaking. Um, Dauntism says LMAO. Um, <laughs> Emilia says, don't get it on your skin. Caleb says, popcorn laughing. Time to mask up. Perfumer Quentin Bish. We love Quentin Bish, but we don't like Paco Rabanne perfumes. Um, Melly says, listen to Emilio. Isaac says, Jacob, do you remember Miss Dior Cherie? That one also had popcorn in it. I do. <coughs> oh, let me drink some water. <gasps> I got no water. Like, hold on a second. Let me just fill it up. I do, I do remember. Um, but, uh, yeah. I do remember. I don't remember the popcorn. Though. Well, let's see. I'm curious. Because I love popcorn. Hmm. Okay. All right, here goes nothing, you guys. Semilio said I should not get it on the skin. Darn, how am I going to do this? Of course, this one is full. This one isn't half. This one did not evaporate. This one is like, uh-uh. You best believe you're going to spray every bit of this one and a half mil. Mm. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a, like a puddle spray close so it doesn't spray all over the place. Cha. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I see where this one is going. I know immediately where this one is going. And Puige, yeah, manufacturer. Okay, it's like a mix, but a very cheap version of it. Uh, we got Poison Girl in here. Melly's gonna faint, I know. And then, we have Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And then we have the, we have Classique in its like more summery version, like, um, you know, the Betty Boop version of Classique that had sugar candy in it, um, uh, cotton candy in it, or like ginger cotton candy. It's sweet. There's absolutely no popcorn in here, you guys. I mean, to me, popcorn, I mean, I'm not a fan of sweet popcorn. So if they meant sweet popcorn, maybe. But I, I, I go for the salty popcorn. Thank you very much. Ilang Ilang. It's not buttery enough. Ilang Ilang is buttery. This is not buttery. This bites you. It's synthetic as a mofo. What are your comments, you guys? Uh, Emilio says it suffocates you. It doesn't suffocate me, though. It's not that it's not nauseating Melly no Dantism says is that uh Dasani water lol sounded like opening a bottle of we gotta scroll the chat so I can't see wait what does popcorn smell like in perfume buttery well Damien no I don't know but this doesn't smell like popcorn it's this weird almost metallic and nutty caramel popcorn Mm, I don't get that. I don't get the popcorn. Um, it is nauseating. <laughs> Who said that? Wait. Oh, Melly says it is nauseating. No, it's not. 
Is that Dasani water? Sounded like opening a bottle of pop. No, no, no. It's just bubbly water. Just now the Roger retracted. Okay. It's going out of the window. LOL, says Melly. It's a very sweet gourmand, says Time to Musk Up. It is sweet. Yeah. A little bit of poison girl in the opening. No, it's not Dasani. I don't do Dasani, Guchan. Don't worry about it. I do not. And I recommend nobody do it. It's poison. Just another Roger. I don't even want to give Paco a chance. LOL. Isaac says, Miss your Cherie with strawberry is champagne -y fizzy salty popcorn realness. Mina says, it has tons of that synthetic woodsy note they use in everything. It does have a synthetic woodsy note. But it's very... What else does it remind me of? It does have... As I said, Poison Girl is in here, you guys. Scandal is in here. But quite bland and regular, yeah, that woodsy synthetic release, that, that resinacy, slightly resinacy release we know from everywhere nowadays. My problem with designers is the notes they give you never match. It must be the horrible notes designers use. Yeah, Amelia says Cashmeran or whatever it's called. Yeah, 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 I know, like all of those synthetic... No, I mean, I get the, the idea. Yeah, but no. Sorry, Quentin Beach. I love you to death. You know I love you. But this, this is not it. Moving on to the next one. Okay, we got a Lancôme, you guys. Idole, le parfum, Lancôme, and this one we're gonna have to tear it open to actually show you. There's no other way to do this, but you gotta pop it open. This is how the bottle looks like. Okay, so also how many milliliter we got here. This is a 1.2 mil. Now, it's Idole Le Parfum, but is the concentration Parfum or is it like something else? Um, we're gonna see now. Maybe it says on the little... No, it actually says it's Le Parfum, but if that's the Parfum, made in France, if that's Parfum concentration or the Parfum concentration, we do not know. But we are going to spray it. Okay, so uh, Emilia says it's Eau de Parfum. Gurcharan says, uh, oh, the doll commercial, never mind, not going there. <laughs> Gurcharan is so shady. <clears throat> Mili says, metallic rose and musk. Horrible. That one smells like Comme on Evidence by Yves Rocher. Mili says, never tried it. All right, let's, uh, let's go, you guys. Idole le parfum. Ciao. It smells like, like Garnier shampoo. Or some like hair product. Very synthetic. Very chemical. Uh, slightly reminiscent of something 80s though. It's like when the 80s started transitioning into the 90s and kind of those warm 80s fragrances started transitioning into aquatic hues. It's floral, but it's cool. It's not warm. What are your comments, you guys? Uh, by the way, do you have experience with any other Lancome fragrances? Yes, I do. Is Isaac says, Idol, gross. <laughs> and Louis says, ha Isaac says, shower gel. Yeah, shower gel, shampoo. Melissa Lara says, from, um, I remember, it's a very nondescript citrus rose scent. Yeah, you could yeah you could say citrus rose, I, but it's, it's so synthetic. You know, this one needs time, I guess, for you know for the top notes to evaporate a little or something. It's a bit lipsticky though. I don't mind the lipsticky part. You know, I love when a perfume has a lipsticky tone to it. 
MK says, I used to love Trésor, Trophée, O and uh, Maginois back in the early 90s. I love Maginois. Um, <clears throat> Trésor, my mom uh, used to wear a lot uh, Maginois. It has like a little bit of a, it probably this one dries down, it's a bit, maybe a bit more lovely when it dries down. It has a little bit of a lipsticky, makeup-y vibe after the shampoo kicks away. But very synthetic. Very synthetic and... Um, <clears throat> it's like a plastic version of a rose, perhaps. Not memorable. Not memorable. Any last notes on Lancôme and Idole uh, before we move on? Everybody's like, Magie Noir by Lancôme is better. Melissa Laura says, me, me too, love Iris. Oh, I love my lipstick note, says Melly. I love it too. The last great Lancôme was Hypnose, says Isaac. Um, mm. Gurcharan says, I feel that Idol is mostly for the bottle experience, writing something on your palm and holding the bottle. Um, Debbie says, it's not worthy. Gurchanan says to MK, I really don't have much experience with Lancôme, but I've heard Trésor is their crown jewel. Poem by Lancôme is also really good, says Emilio. Meli says Trésor is too peachy for Meli. Emilio says, yes, it's the thinnest perfume bottle ever made. Okay. Well, it might also be the thinnest perfume ever made because... Hmm. All right. Idol... Not memorable, you guys. Not memorable. Moving on. Cha, we got another Lancome. What a quanka dunk. <clears throat> Let me open this up before we zoom it in. We got La Viette Belle Intensement. So it's, I guess it's a flanker or a different concentration of La Viette Belle. And uh, this is how it looks inside. <clears throat> what do you guys think of this one? This is the back of it. Oof, I still have a bit of the other one on my finger. Um, okay, so let's see what you guys are saying. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Melly says, no, no. <laughs> Debbie says, oh, Lord. <laughs> Emilia says, we do not want to comment on this one. Gurchan says, oh, sure, a fairly new release. Isaac says, oh, Lord. Julia Roberts is shaking, says Dantism. Oh, my God, you guys, you're scaring me. So this sounds like it's dreadful. Not one single person is liking it, or so it seems. Uh, God help, forgive me. God help, forgive me, says just another Roger. Melly says, you're brave, Jacob. Cha, is it that bad, you guys? La vie est belle, intensamente. Okay, intensamente, intensamente. All right, you guys, here goes nothing. Oh, my God, it has like a... You know what? I ain't saying it's good, but I ain't saying it garbage either. It has um, depth to it. Hold on a second. So I got it all over my fingers. Gotta clean that up. Child, but this hand is gonna stink for days, darling, days. It has a a creamy, rich something, something in there, enveloped by synthetics. You're going to end up smelling like those stores at the at the mall with perfumes at the end of this. I know I'm Louis. It's going to be dreadful, but it's fun. Time to mask up. Bergamot, pink pepper, raspberry, jasmine, orange blossom, heliotrope, patchouli, red iris, benzoin, sandalwood, vanilla. Thank you, time to mask up. Actually, thank you, guys. It would be really great if somebody, for every perfume I, because I don't have the time to look it up, to type it in. It would waste so much time on camera. So when I do have a new perfume, if somebody could like put the ingredients up, that's thank you so much, time to mask up. 
Much appreciated. Okay, so bergamot, pink pepper, rasp raspberry. Heliotrope, patchouli, red eye, benzoin, sandal, sandal. You know, I don't hate it. Is it generic? Yes. But it's not screechy. It, it doesn't... It's not ag aggressive, but like I thought it would be. Um... MK says, Deco, where did you get all those weird samples? It feels like you selected bad perfumes on purpose to make a joke or to produce a funny video. Look at MK going for the shade. You know, uh, these things, you, you just get them whenever you purchase something in a perfumery or in a beauty shop or whatever, you know? Like, they just throw them in the bag. It's not like you ask for them. They're just gifted to you. Or even like, I'm ordering a lot of perfumes online. And sometimes, you know, if I order... Even if I order a Chanel perfume, but not directly from Chanel, but from some other store, they're going to send you samples and they're not going to send you great samples. They're going to send you this stuff. So might as well use it for, might as well um, make good use out of it, making a video out of it, you know? Uh, I told a friend at Macy's to stop sending me those La Vie, La Vie samples, <laughs> just, says just another Roger. Melly says, thank you for all the notes. Time to musk up. Oh, thank you. Time to musk up. You never get a good sample these days, says Melly. No, you don't. Not really. MK says they are just so unlike you. Hmm. Debbie says um, Nordstrom loves to send like 20 samples. Some really crappy. Time to Musk Up says I get the worst samples. I give them to my basic friends. <laughs> oh my God, the shade. What if your basic friends are watching you now? I'm going to say also here there's a little bit of poison girl somewhere in there but like a cheap nuance of it meh not memorable but not as bad as idol let me smell idol again no idol is still oof. it's like a shampoo okay next oh you guys there's hope star wars a new hope Issey miyake, l'odyssey. I mean, there's hope, right? It's the auto toilette. And, oh, look at the cute little floral bit in the back with the little bottle design. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, wow, this is less than a milliliter. <laughs> I've never seen a sample this small. 0 0.8 milliliter. A fresh aquatic floral the scent of water on a woman's skin. Oh, they're going for the gender thing, aren't they? This one is made in France. I'm going to open it. I'm going to open this 0 0.8. They're, they're hiding the quantity because it's all white. So we do not, so it's not a transparent glass bottle. It's all plastic. Okay, any, anything to say about... Uh, Issey Miyake L'Odyssey. MK says, my teenage perfume, Issey Miyake himself signed the first bottle I got when I was 13. Just another Roger, nothing bad to say with Issey. <laughs> That's a good one, says Emilio. Meli says, ooh, it is okay. Guchan says, MS gives that healthy samples. MS Sans are 4 milliliter. They aren't shipping samples now, but they did along with catalogs before the lockdown. Um, Gurchana says, Issey Miyake's Instagram posts have a great aesthetic all the way to paper color lilies. Okay, you guys, let's go for it. We're trying Issey Miyake L'Odyssey. Yeah, I get it. It's, it's, it's a particular flower that's not for me. Um, <clears throat> just another Roger says the nose behind this one is Jacques Cavalier the same guy who is now the nose behind Louis Vuitton fragrances the same guy who created Classique for Jean-Paul Gaultier Time to musk up. Cyclamens, my favorite flower. Freesia lotus, melon, rosewater, carnation, lily, peony, rose, amber, exotic woods, musk, osmanthus, sandalwood, tuberose, and cedar. 
Something in here is not for me. I can't tell you what it is. Probably the lily. Or is it the peony? It seems heavy on the peony. Muscus mantis free carnation. I get the carnation. It's very, very, a very distinct version of carnation. This one is some, I guess I would have to try it on my skin, but the cyclamen in here, mm mm mm. Uh, not my cyclamen. I mean, I, 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 can, I can get it a little bit, but uh, definitely more lily, peony, carnation. At least from the get-go. Like, we sprayed it, and that's the first impression. Just, you know, maybe it's going to dry down to something more. Yeah, Emilio, also, I really don't like lilies. I'm not a big fan of lilies. Yeah, I have my issue with lilies. Um... <clears throat> Uh, MK says, another Japanese perfume I used to love wearing is Matte by Masaki Mat Matsushima. Uh, Melly says, peony? Yeah, peony. Melissa says, maybe peony. It's 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 quite peonish y. I don't get the sweetness you would expect from the florals. Gurchanan says, this one isn't sweet. The Miyake is not sweet at all. MK says, yes, it's definitely not your style of fragrance. Melly says, peony and I don't agree. No, yeah, yeah, I'm also not really a big peony fan. Just another Raj says, I wonder how exotic is the exotic woods in it? Not exotic. It doesn't smell exotic at all. Just another Roger. But I don't find the exoticness at all. It's not exotic to me. It's almost, I mean, now that I'm like inhaling, inhaling, inhaling it, it almost has a, like a, Like a benzene, benzine note to it. Something, there's a combustive something in it. The best ones I smelled from the house was uh, the number 19 knockoff they made, uh, says Emilio. MK says, it was extremely exotic at the time it was released. I mean, it's not bad. Um, it has a quality to it. It has this... You know, the original version of Fahrenheit, the Eau de Toilette, it had that gasoline type of note. For the man. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, unisex, but you know what I mean. This is kind of like the feminine version of gasoline. There's something gasoline-y in here. Am I the only one? Like, am I crazy? Does anybody else sense a little bit of kind of a... Not gasoline, gasoline, but like a like a molecule that kind of somehow mimics gasoline. Debbie says, "Ew, no, it's not bad. It, it's kind of conceptual, but not for me." All right, moving on. What's the next one? Oh my God, you guys! Let me open this before we... <laughs> this is torture. Let's do this. Diesel, only the brave. <clears throat> this is the Eau de Toilette. And um, the bottle is this fist. The fisting perfume. No pun intended. Diesel, a luminous punch of leather, warmed up by a blend of amber and woods. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on our souls. We're going to spray our, we're going to spray ourselves some, uh, cha, a little vial. Alrighty, here goes nothing. Okay, just a little, little spritz, just a little tiny one. And he says, hold your breath, girlies. I'm Louie is cracking up. Melly says, oh God, <laughs> apt. 
correctly named, says Debbie. Oh, my diesel, says just another Roger. Time to mask up. There was a Hermes in there. Yeah, there might be. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not looking in the bag. I'm just... They, hold your breath, girlies. Just another Roger. One thing I need in this era of the name shall not be mentioned is to punch me on the face. First time I'll say it, glad not to be in the bunker right now, says Melly. Oh, come on, you guys. I can say it ain't the worst thing. Quite bland. Crowd pleaser. Oh, time to musk up. Thank you so much for the ingredient. Time to musk up, says Olivier Polge. <laughs> Mr. Chanel created... Only the brave, and only the brave can smell it. Um, Pierre Vargnier. Okay. Lemon, orange, coriander, labdanum, violet leaf, rosemary, cedarwood, amber, and leather. Melly says, Olivier Polge. Emilia says, not Polge. <laughs> MK says, um, don't you find Hermesons as mantis very similar to Au Parc Enso pour femme? I can't blame him. He was forced to make it. It's time to musk up. Violet leaf, rosemary, cedarwood, amber, leather, labdanum, coriander. I smell a little bit of orange and cedarwood, but like synthetic, synthetic, synthetic. Very bland. Very, very bland. Moving on. It's really, it's, it's okay. It's not aggressive. It's synthetic, not memorable. Really, as easy as that. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Hugo Boss, you guys. Hugo Boss, the scent. Okay? Absolute. Only German brand could be so arrogant, right? <laughs> Boss, the scent. Absolute. Like, th that's so German. Um... A richer and more intense interpretation of the original fragrance. Spicy notes of ginger. Aphrodisiac. Okay. Uh, I can't read. Aphrodisiac maninka fruit and mondia roots accords combined with elegant vetiver for an absolute addiction. Okay, you guys. This is... Huh? We're going there. We're going there. Hugo Boss, we're we're going there. You you went there with yeah. Oh, and old school, 1.5 mil. It's a vial. It's not a sprayer. It's a vial. So we're gonna have to dab it. Any um. Mia says, I got uh, sent a full bottle of this one when it first came out at the original de Toilette, and I sold it immediately. <laughs> oh, my God. Melly says, smart, Emilio. Debbie says, they're really selling it to you. Miranda says, hello, everyone. Just got out of work. Happy I made it. Hi, Miranda. Welcome. Um, all right, you guys. I'm going to just dab it on ever so delicately. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so since this isn't sprayed, it's like just dabbed, it needs more time. Oh, it smells quite old school. Just another Roger. Oh my god, I love the comment. This is starting to look like a lineup of men porn star fragrances. <laughs> Is that the flanker? So Aperol Spritz says, uh, is that the flanker, the scent absolute people praise? I don't know. Melly says, what a pathetic name. Time to mask up. Uh, who's Bruno Jovanovic? It's strong on the maninka fruit. Every boss sample I've received, it has that uh, dropper uh, vial. Doesn't sound bad. Oh wait, so wait, but what's the so what's the per, what's the scent, you guys? Probably made it for his thirty years younger boyfriend, says Emilio. Dondism boss bottle intense is good, but this I I don't know you guys.
Oh, the perfumer is Bruno. Okay. <laughs> Emilio Slavic. Bruno, that is a perfumer. Hello. I mean... It reminds me, it's a little bit late 80s-ish. It has a vibe to it, but... <sighs> Absolute, I wouldn't... Apro Spritz says, Bruno is the perfumer for Monsieur, for Frédéric Mal. Love uh, to everyone, says Miranda. I wonder what scent people are wearing. I'm in Christian Dior Hypnotic Poison as well, a classic. <laughs> we are in a lot of stuff right now, Miranda. Oh, Gurshanan says, wait, I think I just received that sample. Let me check. Okay, Gurshanan, check it out and tell me what you think about the smell. I almost bought Hypnotic Poison again today, says uh, Emilio. Oh, I have a 150 ml bottle of it still, so... Time to musk up. It says, it's the vetiver ginger and uh, maninka fruit. Hypnotic poison as well here too. Okay, everybody. Okay, so, Gurcharan, I mean, if you manage to um, find if you have the sample, then let me know what you think about the smell. I'm just going to leave it here for now. Let's move on to the next one. Here's another German for you. Wow. By Joop. Eau de Toilette for men. Oh, check that little kitten with a bottle. Check that little kitten. It's so smitten with the bottle and a mitten. Uh, the scent that makes the man. Okay, girl. <laughs> girl. Man. Uh, this is uh, 1.2 mil. And uh, it is made in France. Okay, kitten. Let's try the kitten. All right. You has some great fragrances. I'm not going to lie, says Emilio. Melissa says, this looks promising. Oh, the sprayer doesn't work. Oh no, sprayed it on my finger, damn it. Okay, so this is going to be the last one we're going to try out for this session because it's really long, the video, and we're going to do next session next time. But let's just... <sighs> yeah, not really. Uh, a bit of a shampoo-y shower jelly vibe here too. No, it's it's Yop, not Yoop. Yop Fum is an animalic beast from the 80s. Y'all need to sniff that one. Oh, good channel. You just saw there was Carolina Herrera, not uh, Hugo Boss. Oh, well. Melly says, you're kidding. Wow is the name. Wow with an exclamation mark. Okay. Okay, girl. Just like the brand is Yop with an exclamation mark. Because they're German. So, you best believe. Uh, <sighs> Yop perfumes from the 90s, from the 80s were quite good. I loved the original Yop, says Melly. The budget luxurist to Debbie. So did I. All this time I've been saying it incorrectly. <laughs> we gotta make a video. How to pronounce Wolfgang Joop. <laughs> you best believe. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's okay. Wow is okay, but just okay. Like, it doesn't have strength. It's, it's another toilette for men. And it's the scent that makes the man. Oh, it says cardamom, bergamot, vetiver, and vanilla. Yeah, it's quite simple. It's okay. It's clean, simple, nothing special. I mean, it, it's not like that. the kitten. It doesn't have the panther or jaguar or whatever it is. Panther, I guess. 
it doesn't give me that vibe. But I like that the bottle is designed like it's rum or gin or whatever. Uh, not gin, like a brandy or something bottle of kind of a whiskey or something. Like you can see it, the, the kitten holding it. has that kind of a, but it doesn't smell boozy you know like number 18 uh, from Chanel it's like brandy this doesn't have any anything boozy in it it has an exclamation point because it's an off brand of the original Yop brand he went bankrupt and had to sell it oh boohoo uh, <laughs> Isaac says Yop femme and Liban are gems MK says, yo, Hugo Boss, Iceberg, trendiest brands from my childhood. <laughs> Melly says, the kitten looks possessed. Miranda says, I've been shaking my fresh bottles uh, to let them air a bit. Uh, does that affect the scent more than the aeration it gets when sprayed? Maybe. Dondism says, I was waiting on that uh, bleu, bleu de Chanel sample. Okay, so verdicts. The most interesting one is the Issey Miyake for me. Uh, Dolce Gabbana K. Oh yeah, I totally see why this is a porn star thing. It's it's sex, literally. It's it's very very sexualized. Uh, uh, this one, it's turning it's turning into like. the douchebag, you know, but it's sexy, <laughs> I have to admit, but like in a very superficial porn way, right? Then we got Cartier Declaration. It's like a more floral version of Queer d'Ange. It's dustier too, but I do prefer Queer d'Ange, so, but Declaration is also okay. Pure Excess. Very caramelly. Very, it's kind of raspberry. No, I don't have any ilang ilang or vanilla in here or popcorn. So pure excess. Mm. Idol. Still a shampoo. Oh, hold it. Oh my God, you guys. Now I know what this reminds me of. Idol has a similar note to En Fleur de Chanel. The white floral wet aspect of it is on Fleur de Chanel. And you know, on Fleur de Chanel is discontinued. So if you want something just that kind of reminds you a bit of it, Idol. Idol has that reminiscence of on Fleur de Chanel. La Vie est Belle Intensement. Still not memorable. Issei. Issei, l'Odyssey is really good, just not for me, because that lily, that lily is as poisonous it, as it can get. It, it bites you. Diesel, only the brave. A very much lighter version of the porn that was Dolce Gabbana K. This is kind of for the guy who can't really deliver as well as the K can. But yeah, <laughs> we got Hugo Boss, The Scent. Cha. No. No, 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 no. And then Yop, wow. Oh, the vetiver is kicking in. You know what? This one is okay. It's very light. It's almost like a like a water, like refreshing yourself in, in, in hot, steamy days. It's inoffensive it's clear it's a clear light fragrance and there you have it those would be the one two three four five six seven eight nine perfumes that we've tested out together today any last thoughts uh debbie says needs a fluffer yes uh k doesn't need a fluffer but uh diesel uh only the brave needs a fluffer uh, <laughs> Melissa says Cartier for the win. Miranda says, I recently bought CK Obsession, the Night of the Live review, 
Um, the powder reminds me of the Cologne Florida water. Is anyone familiar with that? If so, do you agree? I'm not familiar with it. Cartier for the win is right, says Time to Musk Up. Melly says, we have to do this again. Cartier definitely wins for me, says Emilio. I would say... Yeah, Cartier... He say Miyake conceptually uh, wins for me, but wearability, wa wearability wise for me would be also Cartier. And Idol just has that hint of En Fleur de Chanel, which is oh, but I wouldn't wear it still. But uh, yeah, for me too, Cartier is the winner. Uh, wear wearing wise, conceptually, he say Miyake. Sexy wise, Dolce Gabbana K. Memory-wise, Idol, because it reminds us of Enfleur de Chanel, and the others can go uh, on a journey far, far away. Hmm. There you have it, guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, let me know in the comment section down below, because I can do more of these videos, because <laughs> there's also a lot more perfumes left in the bag that we could test out together. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already here on YouTube and push the notifications button to get notified when a new video gets uploaded. Also, um, consider becoming a member. Join today and get extra perks like uh, special emojis, the badge of honor that fills up a perfume bottle that fills up as time passes. And um, also videos that hit uh, uh, members and patrons before YouTube. They're also ad-free and also exclusive videos that only come to Patreon and you to my members on YouTube. So you could become a member or join me on Patreon. Super Deco Balls spelled together on Patreon. You can also join me on Instagram. Follow me there, Super Deco Balls spelled together. I'm also curating Chanel uh, related uh, Instagram fan pages. One is called Coco Chanel is in my house, dedicated to my collection of Chanel pieces and also just my comments on whatever Chanel is up to these days as a brand. And then the other profile is called Coco Chanel Privé, all spelled together, uh, dedicated to Coco Chanel's life, everything that's connected to her while she was still alive, uh, leading up, uh, up to uh, January of 1971. So follow me there if you wish. I would be honored to have you there. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, what can I say? Nine perfumes tested out on little bits of uh, tissue paper. It is what it is, 2021. We're testing it out. We're trying to figure things out. And I think this is a really interesting way to kind of enhance, I don't know if it's really enhancing so much our olfact olfactive sensibility because some of these, when they're really bad, they kind of kill your nose too. But uh, it's always good to kind of get to know all of these names and uh, variations on perfumery, whether they be super synthetic or a little bit more delicate smelling. It is what it is. It is 2021. This is what 2021 has to give us. We're not going into niche with these special tryouts. I mean, maybe some niche perfume might kind of fall into them, but it's it's fun. It's just fun and games. Hope nobody got offended. If some of the perfumes that we touched base on here together, you're a huge lover of, sorry, uh, nothing against you. Absolutely nothing against the person. It's just having fun with smells. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.